Before we dive into today's episode, I wanted to share with you my new favorite virtual vision board. You know that I love all things affirmations, visualization, and meditation, and we talk about these topics often on the podcast. So when I came across the Perfectly Happy Vision Board app, I was really excited to try it out. What I love most about it is that it's a convenient and powerful way to visualize your dream life, become clearer in what you want to achieve, and it helps you stay focused and motivated. I also love that you can set multiple daily reminders to take a mindfulness break and help you visualize your dreams, which as you know, helps you build a resilient mindset. What you do is you download the app and you go through the steps to create your own vision board where you can add in photos and music and affirmations to each area of your life that you're trying to manifest in. The best part is that all of the things that you need are already in the app. The combination of sound and photo and affirmations makes your vision board more vivid and ultimately easier to manifest. What I also love is that you can write unlimited daily gratitude journal entries to help you reflect on your day and really build that gratitude muscle. I can honestly say that all of the things that I put on my own vision board have happened and it was so wild to see it all come to life. It only takes three minutes per day and I really think that we all have three minutes. Start your free trial of the Perfectly Happy app by clicking on the link in the show notes. Okay, let's get into today's episode. Hi there, welcome to the Happiness Happens podcast, your number one destination for all things happiness, soul purpose, living on purpose, and accessing a dream life that you absolutely love and adore and cannot wait to wake up to every single day. On this podcast, we talk about actionable tips, strategies, and different ways that you can create more happiness, more abundance, more prosperity, more love, more laughter, more joy, and more inner peace in your life. Now, this week's episode is a conversation that was previously recorded on the Oshun podcast with my dear friend, Sarah, who we also may know as Mer Goddess. Sarah and I have known each other for such a long time, and every time we get together, we have such powerful and incredible conversations that really are from a soul level. So every time we talk, so much magic ends up happening. We go deep into spirituality. We go deep into purpose. We go deep into living in alignment. So I know you're going to love this conversation because it might just be exactly what you need right now with the world so chaotic in the way that it is. This actually might be very cleansing and very clearing for you to listen into this type of podcast, this type of episode, uh, because it will really bring you a lot of clarity and a different perspective in terms of what we're living through right now. So I invite you to listen in with an open mind today and join Join me for this incredible conversation with Sarah. I am so excited. Before we do that, let me read you a really quick review of the show. I love this review. I'm so grateful for it. It says, Simona has electric energy that transmits into her podcast. She's fun and her talks are insightful and inspiring. Highly recommend connecting with her and listening to this podcast. You will learn a lot. And this is from PSCS forever. Thank you so much for this incredibly beautiful review. I am so grateful for your kind words. It means so much to me. And if you're listening to the show and you're loving what you're hearing, please be sure to leave a review of the show. You can do so on Apple Podcasts. Just scroll down to the bottom and click write a review. Leave us five stars because you know you want to. And with that, let's dive into this week's conversation. Oh, another amazing guest here. Like this guest is so special. I love having a conversation with Simona. And so today I'm super excited to welcome Simona to the podcast. Thank you for being here and being you. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. I love chatting with you. It is my favorite thing. <laughs> Mine too. Like it's just, we, and it, what's great is that we've never actually met in person, but I feel like our souls have met in some form. And so today we're just going to like compound all the magic that both of our souls are here to provide in this episode. So, oh, so excited. I cannot wait. Yeah. Every time we chat, I truly feel like you and I, we must have known each other before. And I think yeah. maybe we just find each other in every lifetime and just kind of help each other out in that way. And, you know, I love yes. that. <laughs> I keep thinking of how much I want to do like a past life, like journey and see what my past life was. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> that would be so fun just to see what, what you were and what things were you doing? Right. And then how are they even being applied now you know exactly like because we 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 tap into these things is what I'm seeing and feeling and being and so we can 
have it all now, essentially. So here we are. I love it. So I would love for you to share like basically your journey that started out with like launching your happiness podcast to being a mindful coach to now only podcasting. And so where, and then where you are today. (laughs) Yes, of course. So every time I share parts of this story, I always share a different part of it. I feel like that's just what happens when you share the story. So it was probably back before I started my podcast, I started it in January, 2019, but it was born out of like a really, I was in a really dark place in 2018. And so I just really was not happy with who I was. I didn't, you know, I just, I didn't like myself. I didn't like the way that I looked. I didn't like the way I sounded. I didn't like the words I spoke. I was very negative, very judgmental. I wasn't pleasant. Just, I just wasn't pleasant to be around. And it was interesting though, because I was such a vibrant and bubbly person on the outside, but on the inside, I was like this big, dark storm cloud. And I remember it was like summer of 2018. And I don't remember exactly what month or day or anything like that, but my boyfriend, now husband at the time, crazy, crazy. He, I remember I was complaining about something. I actually think I was complaining about my weight. I'm pretty sure. And he looked at me and he said, you complain all the time. He's like, when are you going to do something about it? And I was like, oh, (laughs) I was like, did you just say that to me? (laughs) And he was like, yeah. And then I was like, okay, fine. You know what? You have a valid point. And I see where you're coming from because I could only imagine how annoying that would be on the other side to like hear the same thing. You know what I mean? Like complaining all the time, like something's got to give, I don't know. So I started going to therapy and really doing a lot of like deep inner work, trying to heal and transform different parts of myself. Um, and understanding why things were the way that they were. And that was pretty much it. Like that was like the spark that flipped within me. And I was like, I need to share the things that I've learned with other people, because I feel like other people must be like, if I'm going through this, there's someone else in the world that must be experiencing exactly what I'm experiencing. And they probably need help. So I thought, okay, I'm going to start a podcast. And I didn't know anything about podcasting at the time, like 0%. Steve, my husband bought me my, my very first mic and I still use it today. And I actually don't think I ever would have started my podcast if he didn't buy me the mic because I wasn't a very like go-getter person at the time. I made excuses for things all the time. So um, he bought me the mic. I brainstormed the podcast, created like the very first version version of the cover art. It was all so different than it is now. Um, so the evolution of it is just, it's just crazy to me. So then the podcast was born. It launched in January of 2019. And I kept thinking to myself, like, as long as one person listens, then I've impacted one life. And then that's all that matters. I just want to help one person. And now, you know, we get to help hundreds of people, hundreds of thousands of people. And it's amazing just to have that platform to, to bring the types of conversations that are so important to life. Um, and then from there sparked my journey into coaching because I had gotten connected to so many different people. I saw so many different perspectives of things that people were doing and, and stuff like that. And at the time I was working in a corporate job that was like sucking my soul right from underneath me. And I just decided I didn't want to live that life. And so I started life coaching. Then I dabbled into business coaching. Then I went back to life coaching and I'm actually still um, a life coach. And I take on a very limited amount of clients, you know, at any given time. And they're more of like long-term clients, but yeah, so I do that. And then in January of 2021, I started my production company. It's called, I mean, right now it's called Costantini Productions. I think maybe one day it'll evolve. Who knows, but I love the name for now. And that's it. I work with spiritual entrepreneurs and help them launch, grow, and that's it. Like launch, grow, monetize their podcast to really make an impact with their message and their voice and what they're here to share and tap into their authentic and truest self. So it's pretty, it's pretty crazy when I look back I never would have imagined it for myself happening it this way, but I'm, I'm just so grateful that it did. Oh my gosh. And like, it's so interesting, like how it's evolved even within the year. Cause I think we met in like 2020, right? Like I listened. So I remember like, I listened to your meditation and I was like, who is this? Like she heard her voice is so soft and it's just like, has this amazing thing. And then like, I reached out to you to like be on your podcast and like, even like the stories that we shared there, right? Like it's just so much has changed and evolved 
just in one year, you know, mm -hmm. like, I mean, who would have imagined that it could have been from that to that. And then here we are on my podcast, you know, like doing things that I didn't necessarily think I would be doing, but with your inspiration and your guidance, you know, it's just, here we are. <laughs> so And it's you. so amazing. Oh my gosh. And you know, it's so funny. Like I didn't even know, you know what I mean? Like, I just was so proud of you when I saw you launch this podcast. And when you asked me to come be a guest, I was like, oh my God, yes. I was like, I would love to come be a guest on your podcast because every time we chat, our conversations, I feel like are just so soul fulfilling. Well, at least they are for me. So hopefully everyone who's listening feels the same way, but no, they definitely are for me. So um, I love it. And even just like your own growth and your own journey since we first met, isn't it kind of amazing to be able to watch each other's journeys like unfold like that? Yes. Like, I mean, it's, and, and it's like you, there's no attachment to it, right? It's just like, you have a conversation and now the conversation has, is completely different from when it was just a few months or weeks ago or whatever it may be, you know, it's just exactly. amazing how, and this is what we're, we're, we're designed for, right? Is that like, we're here to like give a message and see where it takes us and leads us and help others and getting to like almost watch the birth of others transform mm. and expand is another like blessing you know especially with podcasting or even life coaching you know you really get to see others transform and so like now like this brings up what do you feel when you are getting to like launch a someone else's podcast or you're getting to help someone or you see them in this state and now they're somewhere else like what goes through you when this is going on Oh my God. I don't even know where to begin in answering that because it is everything to me. I feel like the podcasting platform is such a unique and life-changing space. I mean, I've said this once before, maybe a couple of times before, but I don't say it very often, like on interview or anything like that. Like I just kind of say it mostly to myself, but I feel like podcasting is like one of the most intimate relationships that you will ever have with a person because someone is actively choosing to take their headphones, likely AirPods or earbuds, plugging you inside their ears where it's such a, like, if you think about just the space of like inside your ears, that's where all of your, your, all of your magic happens from, from your mind, your soul, like your body, like all of that kind of stuff. Right. And so people are plugging you in and taking you on a, a walk, a run, a drive, to relax, to de-stress, to decompress. And they're choosing to listen to your voice while they're doing that. They're choosing to learn from you while they're doing that. And so what bigger honor is there, in my opinion, than someone choosing to spend time with you when you don't even kind of realize that they are? You know, what, a, what an absolute honor to even be able to take someone's time. And I'm looking at my clock right now and it's 3.33. Of course it is. Oh my God. Um, anyways, but so I really, I really truly feel that. And so when I'm helping entrepreneurs launch their podcasts and really get into their podcast, like we're always just diving in first and foremost into their, their why, like, why is it that they're launching this podcast? What does it mean to them to have this podcast? What will happen when everyone who listens to the show gets to hear their words, what kind of transformations are being facilitated. But then on the flip side, like what do you take away from people when you don't show up and share those conversations? You, they don't know that you're taking it away from them, but what are you not sharing with someone? How can you not be impacting someone every time you decide to not show up? Right? So I just think that like everyone has a story to share. Everyone has a message. And I think everyone has something very profound to say in whatever space or niche that, they, that they're in, right? So like I have clients that are parenting coaches, branding coaches, photographers, product-based business owners, uh, mediums, uh, light workers, like they're in all different areas. So it doesn't really matter like what niche you're in. What matters is how you're delivering the message to the people who need to hear you. So I just feel like I, I just love this, this medium so much because you get to share exactly what's on your heart and the exact way that it's meant to come across to your audience in the most perfect and divine way. Like what could be better than that? 
Oh my gosh. I love that so much. And it's also like, I feel like podcasting is now becoming more and more like mainstream than like, like TV once was right. Because it's like, now you can like, instead of like sitting at home, like watching this thing, right. It's like, now you can like hear words and especially like getting inspired and doing something while you're listening or multi Like, I know I love to listen to different people. Like while I'm cooking, right? Like I'm like, oh, I want to listen to this particular thing yeah. while I'm doing this thing so I can like pour energy into that, you know? And it's like, you get to, ch- it's almost like you get to choose like, what is it that I want to hear right now that's going to impact me, mm-hmm. but also it's going to allow me to just transform in my own world. Exactly. Exactly. And every time you listen to somebody else's perspective, yours starts to change a little bit, right? Even though you don't, maybe people don't necessarily agree with every single thing that's being said on every single podcast, but you're giving yourself the opportunity to learn a different perspective, to step outside of your comfort zone, to step outside of your box and your own beliefs and limitations that are within your own mind, right? Because we all have them. Some people are able to tap out of their own thoughts and really tap into other people's perspectives. But, you know, I think that's a big thing. If I look at this entire world, we would all benefit so much from just trying to see things from a different perspective and how there are always two sides to every story, you know? And so I think that when you have a whole library of anything you want to listen to and learn about in the entire world, it's literally there at your fingertips. There's no excuse to like not grow and there's no excuse to like not continue to evolve and to transform your life. You literally have the tools. You just have to take the the actual step, the action step to get to where you want to go. So it's so, it's just so crazy to me. Yeah. And also like by giving others a different perspective, like it allows them to ask questions in their own personal reality. Right. Cause it's like, Oh, like this is saying this, this is saying this, but what is it that feels true to me? And then you can start creating your own beliefs and not allowing, like not allowing the things that you're listening to and things to dictate your reality, but also just like, oh, there's another way, you know, like I know, like when I was create, like creating what it is that I want to do, whatever it is, light worker, what, you know, whatever things we want to do, we can take it as like, oh, this is what I'm meant to do. And like, I can take the tools and create it, you know? Exactly. I love so much that you said that because I feel like it's just so important to like acknowledge that when you really break it down, I've, I have always thought about it this way ever since I was like a young kid and I never could really understand why I thought about life this way, but I always would picture myself like on top of the earth. Okay. Like far removed from like the actual planet, but I was like picture myself there and I'd be like, okay, if you remove everything, if you remove money, societal con, like every single thing that we have created here, Like you've got to be out of your mind to think that what we see is the only thing that actually exists. I'm sorry. Like there's probably a million galaxies out there. And so to think that like the one way that one person has said one thing is truth. No, because we could all be, and I always thought this as a kid too, like we could always be like, you know, being watched by the aliens on a screen and they're probably like, oh my God, like you guys are, you know, a little quick right down there. (laughs) You know what, but like, you don't know. And so I think I always approach everything with this perspective of like, you really don't know what is true or what is not true. So why not just tune in and tap into what's the most truth for you and do the best you can with what you have and what feels the most authentic and the best for you. And then just share that with other people around you. Right. I don't know. Yeah. No, I mean, and I feel like the same, like, at like, I remember when I was like 10 years old, And like, I was really like questioning the reality around me. Like I was just like, really? Like every year we get a new president and like nothing changes. Like, are you kidding me? Like, this is really how it is, you know? And so it like allowed me to start, like, I would just keep questioning. And then I would be like, I should just want to be a swimmer. And like, what does that look like? Or like, I want to do this and this. And like, I can, and based on my beliefs, it was true for me, but the, Mm -hmm. but it may not be true for everyone, right. Based on the reality that they are allowing or choosing to do, because I feel like we all have a choice. We all have a choice to look at the reality that we are in and say, 
this is for me or this is not for me. And I can check out at any moment in time and, and know that I'm supported by the universe. And like, that's what's that. been so amazing about my journey is that like, I've checked out of the matrix, you know, and it's so fulfilling to know that like, I'm here for a greater purpose to show the world what they are meant to do, you know? And so exactly. like going back to like, the different perspectives that we see, mm -hmm. like getting to allow others to listen to other perspectives, this gives them an opportunity to choose whether they want to participate in one reality or another. Exactly. And you know what, as you were saying that, I keep thinking of this, like, so my husband is um, a Twitch streamer. He loves to, he loves video games. He's always loved them, built his own computer. Like he just loves that. Right. He's also a mechanic. And right now their shop is a little bit slower. So they're each getting like a couple of days, like off per week that they're like, they're just like days off that they wouldn't normally have. And now I think 2018 Simona would have been freaking out. It would have been like, how are we going to pay our bills? bills and how are we going to do all of this and da, 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 da. and instead it's so much more soul fulfilling to be like wow babe like you get the time now to work on your dream you get to create your reality and I kept saying him today because he's home today and I kept saying him today I'm like I love having you here like I love having you here all day and like we both get to do our own things in our own space and just knowing that you know, we can go for lunch and pay for lunch. And I don't have to worry where the money's going to come from because it's just, uh, it's overly abundant and it, it just is, you know? And I think like that shift for me has been the most transformational, I think in my life, because I was driven by money before everything was like counting the pennies, counting the dollars, making sure that I had enough for every single thing. And now I'm like, okay, like, okay, it is what it is. Like, I don't know. I can't really explain it, I guess, in words, but it's just, it's quite a powerful place to sit from where it just, it doesn't really matter. Like it does not really matter. Yeah. Because like, I, I guess like when you're, when you kind of detach yourself from the reality, right. Cause I That's feel it. like, like we're attached to money. We're attached to people. We're attached to the yeah. reality that we're in. And that's kind of, if we look at the reflection of the world right now, that's exactly what's happening. You know, people exactly. are attached to the ways of living that we have lived. And now we're being brought up against all these other different things. Mm -hmm. And it's like, people feel like, well, we got to do this thing in order to get back here. But what people aren't realizing is we're far from there. Yeah. We are already on this other side. Where of are we going back? Reality. To? Yeah, we're the, the, going back is so silly because we we never were supported in that way before. You know, the yeah. ways that we have lived have not supported everyone, right? There should yeah. never be people should not feel that they are in scarcity. We should not have people that don't have homes. We should not have people that don't believe in themselves, that don't have a goal, you know, but our society, the things that we've watched, the things that we've done have been based on that. And we have been programmed to be just, that, right? Just, just tap okay, in, and just it, tap into it. <laughs> exactly. And then you just like, don't ever think that there could possibly be another perspective. Do you know what I mean? Like no one, I didn't say no one, there's lots of people that challenge the status quo, like lots of thoughts, but you know, it sometimes takes years for people to like be able to tap into that place of like knowing that you actually can create whatever it is you want for yourself. And you don't have to wait for someone to tell you that it's, that this is the time or like now it's now, like you can literally go and create it. Like I wanted, I've always wanted to be a podcast producer and I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm just going to create it, you know? And I had launched things in my business for years before launching my services for my podcast company. And you know, they never sold out. Like they never, I never sold like spots in group coaching programs and stuff like that. It just never did. And I could never figure out why. And then I launched my podcast services and I booked out in two days fully. And I was wow. like, what is happening here? But then I was like, this is the confirmation that if you just keep going a little bit more, just keep trying a little bit, you know, push a little bit harder through the fear, through the doubt, through the, you know, not believing in yourself, you get to the other side and it's, very soul fulfilling. Like you get to the other side and you're like, this is why I, this is why I waited. This is why it took long. You know, this is why I had to pivot. This is why I had to reframe, you know, and then you learn, you unlearn, you build and you unbuild and you know, you, you heal parts of yourself and then you 
find out that there's more to heal. And that's just literally the journey of life. And it's just such a beautiful experience to be a part of. Yeah, because and if we think about that, right, like, if we've been shown like, the American dream or the here in Canada, like whatever dream each country has told us was about, right? Like it wasn't what it really is in terms mm -hmm. of like fulfilling our soul. You know, it's like work, work, work. You have this amount of money in your bank account, you know, and all these attachments, like we're literally attached to these things. And so when these things are removed from us, it's a lot harder. And then all of a sudden we're meant, we're like, we have to heal now. Right. Cause I know like even you and me, like a lot of times our journeys are really like shocked with like this, like big thing that happens in our reality that we're just not happy with. And we're like, I'm done. Like you get exactly. to a point where you're just like, I'm done. And I think like, that's what we're kind of waiting for in the world is that how bad does it have to get for people to say, I'm done with this and let me check into my own reality. Yeah. You know? I would, I would much rather be in my own rea reality every single day than, you know, I just, I, I've never been someone who's enjoyed staying home as much as I've enjoyed staying home because I like, I don't know. I just, it's such a safe space here. Do you know what I mean? I can't even explain yeah, yeah. it. Like I go out and I'm just like, Oh my God, like it's so chaotic. And I'm like, I don't want any of that. And so, you know, I hear of all these beautiful people moving to like Costa Rica and here and here. And I'm like, oh, take me with you. Like, I'm ready to go. <laughs> I would like to go also. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. You know, and that's kind of where, like, why I kind of came to California because, like, I'm in this space right now where it's just like me and I get to really create what it is that I'm here to do. Because, like, when you're in a city stance and you're constantly seeing people, you're bumping up to different energies, mm. you get distracted very, very easily. And it's hard to create in that sense. And so I understand where people may be sucked in because it's hard to really back kind out. of step out and be like, you know, I'm in, I'm in it, you know, I'm in this reality. I'm here. I'm all at a beautiful time on earth. We're like literally living in like biblical times right now. And it's the most exciting time to be alive, but yet there's still so many people that aren't aware of this. And it's like, for me, like, I'm just like, what can I do to provide that perspective that is going to shift that person mm -hmm. in a way that's going to allow them to really open up and see what is possible in the world. Because I mean, I'm looking outside of this beautiful nature, getting to see different types of birds, getting to experience people waving to them, allowing my reality to be this beautiful playground. And it's like, we all have this ability. Like we literally can go out in the world and share our love and be love and light and understand that we, if we are in fear or we're unsafe or we don't feel a certain way, it's because we essentially created that. And if we want to create a different reality, we can take a step back, we can look at what it is that we can control, and we can start diving in and really looking at the parts of ourselves, whether that be looking at the foods we're eating, what things we're listening to, how we're moving our bodies, what things do we do in our day to day, how much rest are we getting, you know, these basic needs that we all have and want to create and, and expand on, you know, the more that we focus on that, I feel like it's going to allow the shift that we're wanting a little bit faster than maybe it's happening right now, you know? Exactly. Exactly. And how you do that is just by having these conversations. That's how it doesn't have to be a, a big, huge, it could be one day, you know, but we all have to start somewhere and we all start by just sharing our authentic truth on this beautiful platform. This is why I love podcasting so much because you literally get to share your perspective, uncensored, unfiltered for people to listen to and to learn from. Yeah. And I mean, that's what's so great about it because if people are interested, they can tap in. And now we have planted a seed into their soul that is when it's ready to, because that's why we're here, right? We are here to awaken the soul in this human body, whether people believe it or not, it's meant to happen, whether it's in this lifetime or another lifetime, it's bound to happen. And exactly. the more that we can just 
make this more of the conversations, just like being able to tune into these different types of platforms, it allows people to give them that choice, right? Mm -hmm. To experience it. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah, so much so. And so where can everyone find you if they're wanting, if they're like, I want to start my own podcast or I want to help with Simona or I want to chat with Simona, like where can they go to? Well, um, okay. So many different things. So you can go to my Instagram. It's at Simona with two underscores, Costantini. And I have like booking links there. Like you can book a call if you want through there. Um, you can also go to my website and it's SimonaCostantini.com, but you can get it there through my Instagram and I have like a free resource and it helps you launch your podcast in eight weeks. And it's just like a checklist of things to help you sort of like go through just to see if you've, if you're missing anything or, you know, just to consider like, you know, what should be done and when type of thing. So you can get that there. And then I also have my podcast, which is at happiness happens podcast on Instagram. And honestly, that's pretty much it. I, I'm kind of on TikTok, but like, not really. I'm more just like to consume the content on there, but yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of it. Instagram is mostly where I hang out, but you can also go to my website and get all the links from there too. Mm, I love it so much. I love you so much. I love this conversation. Is there anything else you want to leave the audience with today after this magical conversation? Mm, I love that so much. I always feel like I have to add like one more thing. Um, you know, one thing that I say a lot, and I say this on my podcast, you might remember this from like listening to past episodes, but even when you were a guest too, like I always say at the end, like happiness happens when you're least expecting it. And when I'm learning every single year, every single month, every single week and hour that I continue to do my podcast is how actually true that statement is that happiness is not a place. Happiness is not a person. Happiness is not a thing. It's not a destination. It's not somewhere you want to end up like happiness is true, like inner peace and is like an extension of your love for yourself, I think. And, you know, when you've come from it at that perspective, you really open up the doors for happiness to land within you at any single moment. So it really truly does happen when you're least expecting it. So be open to the possibility, let yourself feel that love and, um, you know, heal what you need to heal and don't be, you know, embarrassed by it. One thing I do want to say too, I was editing my client's podcast the other day and, um, she had this guest on and he said something and I wrote it down because it's something that I always want to remember and I'm going to read it to you. Um, it says your inner darkness is coming up to the surface to be healed because it doesn't want to be dark anymore. Mm. And I was like, and I loved that so much. The guy who said it, his name is Howie. And mm. I just absolutely adored when he said that. And it just hit me in a different way because, you know, we all think that hard times come up in order to like try and make us feel sad or worse or all this kind of stuff. But it isn't always that you can infuse light into it. You just have to choose to see it from that perspective. Mm. Ah, that was such a good ending to... And I'm not even going to touch on that because I just love everything that you shared. And I'm Thank just you. so grateful for you and I'm everything you're bringing to the world. So thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me today. Ah, uh, yes. What a blessing. What a blessing. Mm. And until next time, bye for now. Well, it looks like we've made it to the end of this episode. I'm so grateful for you tuning into this week's episode and I cannot wait to see you over on the next one. If you loved this conversation and this topic as much as I did, please feel free to leave us a rating or a review wherever you're listening. It takes just a second and it is so important for us so that we can make sure to deliver this content to those who need it. I'm wishing you the most beautiful day wherever you are in the world and remember that happiness happens when you're least expecting it.